Hello, let's take a look at how to draw normals, how to measure angles, and draw the reflected rays. Our first step is to draw the normal. The best way to do that is to use our protractor. Let's line up the protractor with the surface that the rays are reflecting off of. Notice this protractor has a little circle in the middle which serves as a target. So we can line up the protractor to the surface along here and we can use the circle in the middle to aim. Okay, now we have our protractor set up against the surface. It's centered on the rays themselves, and so the normal will be 90 degrees to the surface, which will be a line right about here. Now it's time to draw the normal. Remember our technique for drawing lines. Place your pencil down first, where you want the line to begin. Gently set the ruler against the pencil. Make sure the line that we want to arrive at is not covered by your ruler. So I have my pencil here. And now I can draw my dashed line representing the normal. We can double check. Okay, that looks very good. Let's measure the angle of incidence for this ray. An important trick is to set the zero of the angle measurements to the normal itself because we measure all of our angles moving away from the normal. To do that, let's rotate our protractor so the 90 is lined up to the surface, the 0 is lined up with the normal, and we can see it's centered on the point where the ray contacts the surface. Now starting from the 0, we can measure the angle of incidence, which looks like it is 23, we can even get in between those, so 23 Point five degrees. Let's draw the reflected ray on this side of the normal. The angle of reflection is going to be the same, 23.5 degrees. Let's set that up. Again, we want to have the zero of our protractor along the normal that means we will have to orient it this way. Now we're going to be reading off of the inner scale on the protractor. And now we want to measure the same angle, 23.5 degrees. So this mark here represents 20. Here's 3 and 23.5 will bring us right here. Let's draw the ray. Remember our good technique. Position our pencil right at the point where we want the ray to start and gently touch the ruler to the pencil. Make sure this tick is just to the side of the, of the straight edge surface. And now we draw our reflected ray you see that passed right through my tick mark. And so this angle of reflection will also be 23.5 degrees. We can even do a quick double check. Let's line up our protractor so that the 90 is back on the normal and we can see that our incident ray and our reflected ray are very close to one another. There's always tiny differences when we do our drawings, but here we have a very precise result.